my gosh, she's done it again. Like she is so freaking gorgeous. Like how the F does she manage to find all this time to look like that? Like, gosh, God, is she your favorite child? <laughs> Anyhow, I did realize that I've done a lot of venting this weekend and I felt a little, I'm going to go ahead and say conviction about it, um, that maybe, that not so much that it's a bad thing that I'm openly expressing myself to people about these things because it was inevitable for these things to come out. It's one thing for me to talk one-on-one -on -one with myself or one-on-one -on -one with God about them, um... And it is sufficient, but sometimes it's nice to actually get a different perspective or to even hear from some, hear back from somebody that your feelings are valid. You know, I know it's not easy to talk about someone, especially when you're that close to them and, and pick apart things that you don't necessarily like about them or that you don't necessarily agree about concerning that person and how they do certain things. Um... But when it's done too often or too freely, especially when you're not asked for your opinion, um, it can start to come off as gossipy and negative. And so that's the last thing that I want to do. I don't want anyone to get a skewed impression of somebody based off of something that I said about them. Um, nor do I want to feel two-faced like, oh, I love this person when I'm around them, but behind their back, even though I'm emphasizing that I still love them the same, I've got some issues with them. Like it does make you feel a little two-faced. And I guess it comes from the whole thing, the whole ability of mine to put myself in other people's shoes. And so it, I guess it all, for me, it always comes back to like, well, how would you feel if you knew were saying things about you that they don't say to your face how would that make you feel um and it would make me feel good if someone felt that I had a few quirks about me that they didn't like or didn't agree with or if they didn't like the way that I put certain outfits of mine together that would offend me because that all has to do with who I am as a person, how, who I am as an individual and how I choose to express myself. So therefore, if someone doesn't like it, that's one thing. But then for someone close to me to not like it, that's a whole nother thing. And then not only that, but to then to take it a step further and talk about it while I'm not around is it, it's an added issue. So yeah, I guess when you put those things together and then you think about what kind of maturity you should have while walking with the Lord, you become super sensitive about certain things that you choose to talk about. And this is also why I'm so careful about who I choose to speak about the because I never want to come off as bashing the truth. I never want to come off as being super judgmental. I never want to come off as the person who literally has no life and has nothing better to do than to sit around and observe everybody. Um, I don't. I don't want to be perceived as that type of person. I also don't want to bash the and make him look like someone he's not just because I don't like something that he does doesn't mean that I know his intentions behind what he does he's still a human being at the end of the day so he's not just a person, he's an individual he is a person he's a child of God just like I am so um and he has his own personality just like all of us do um and we learn to adjust and deal with those things as best as we can uh with uh, without judging if we can avoid judging that would be the best thing um but yeah 
So, you know, if, if God, like, if you felt like I talked about one of your creations or your children this weekend in a way that wasn't the best (laughs) or that didn't paint them in a good light, I do apologize for that because I expect you to know that that's not my intention. And as in terms of the organized life group, the reason why I'm so transparent with her is because I feel like the only reason why we got closer in the, over the, the, the span of this year is because of the life group. And because of how honest and vulnerable and transparent I've been in the life group. You know how many people have misjudged me and thought I had it all together or I'm so confident and I don't have any undesirable physical traits about myself or that I'm in love with my personality and I'm comfortable with my personality at all times and it's not true and I want to be the first person to tell them that because I want to be that I want to be that proper representation for them because I know there are so many girls out there or guys too that I emulate that I look up to and I see them as perfect they have everything together they're so lucky they don't have to try as hard as I do blah 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 but if I were to sit down with them and have a genuine discussion with them I bet you I would find out a whole bunch of things that they are not happy with in their lives or that they are not consistent with that I that I thought they were I thought they were happy with those things I did think that they had everything in line I did think that they you know that they didn't have anything to work on because I'm seeing what I want to see when I look at them I see what I lack I don't see what they could possibly be struggling with and so if anyone has ever looked at me and had the wrong impression of me and put me on a pedestal where I do not belong, I want to be the first person to speak on my behalf and say, no, I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. I'm not always happy. I'm not always goofy. I'm not always smiling. I'm not always laughing. I'm not always cracking jokes. I don't always have an outfit on that is put together in such a way that it's just like, I should go be on top model. Like, go figure with all these damn clothes in my closet, there are times where I struggle to find an outfit. And then there are days where I do find an outfit, but it doesn't quite fit me right. You know, like, I struggle just like everyone else does. And in my mind, in my little world, I probably struggle more than uh, everyone else I know. (laughs) That's just my perception. And so if I can do that for somebody, I will. And that includes being honest and throwing myself under the bus and sharing the fact that I'm jealous of some of my friends. And there are people that I really wish I looked like. Um, There are people with the type of money I wish I had where I can have my own place and I can have I can work from home and not have to leave if I don't want to. And that's just me being raw and honest and truthful. Well, honest and truthful are the same things, right? So, yeah. And sometimes that includes, you know, me talking about people. And it's not because I want to put them down or make myself feel better by having some dirt on them. No. It's just I'm an extremely observant, analytical, and expressive person when it comes to how I feel. And the things that I think and the things that I experience on a daily. And I want to be able to encourage people to do the same. And so coming into the life group with I knew that I was going to have to drop this facade of being put together all the time. And always having the right words to say to convey an idea. Having to be perfect and have this <laughs> beautifully formed relationship with God where I'm never mad at him. I never ignore him or neglect time with him. 
I know the Bible inside and out. I know every book. I know every character. I know every situation. I know verses off the top of my head. I don't have to be that in order to form a relationship with somebody and study the Bible with them. And I also wanted to make sure that I was fully aware of that before getting involved in this life group because I knew that it would be counterproductive to expect her to be open and honest and vulnerable with me and not turn around and do the same thing with her. I wouldn't trust somebody like that with my personal life and my personal thoughts and my personal feelings. I wouldn't trust them. If they're always keeping things at the surface and never wanting to share things with me and never wanting to be vulnerable, if I've never even seen them cry or get upset about anything, then why would I want to share my life with them? Because in my mind, I'm going to be thinking, I have nothing in common with this person. This person would not understand anything, even if I try to explain it to them. So why try? But yeah. I did want to apologize though because I felt like I've been I was overly expressive this whole weekend so far about certain people in certain situations that I didn't like and I just don't want to be seen as this negative Nancy I just want to be seen for who I am which is somebody who always keeps it real who's very transparent very vulnerable and if I like you if I trust you you're gonna know all the ins and outs about me there are certain things that, yes, are no one else's business, like my situation. Just certain personal things, or like no one needs to know about that either. Um, and yeah, those are just, uh, there are very few things that I'm not willing to speak about with people. <laughs> very few things. There are a lot of things that, if you ask, I will happily sit Booty my cheeks. Down and talk to you about them. <laughs> um, just because if it's beneficial, to our relationship and your growth as a person and my growth as a person then why not even if it's just for the sake of you just wanting to know because you're a very curious person i'm like an open book <laughs> so but yeah again thank you for listening to me i feel like this was a very um good productive uh conversation i wasn't expecting it to be this long i thought it was going to be a very short video um but yeah Right, I'm gonna go.